Well, thank you so much. Uh, once again, as, as an assistant principal, it's, it's just a privilege to be here. A few of us were talking earlier this morning, and, and it's so appreciated on our part that you allow us to come and, and share with all these stories across the community of kids doing wonderful things. Thank you, Chamber of Commerce. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you uh, to the city as well for making this event happen. It's uh, on, on our, just selfishly on assistant principal's behalf, it's, it's one of the highlights of our year, really, to be here. And, and the highlight for Vista High today, I um, want to share a little bit about Kyle. Kyle uh, is a person that does love learning. You'll hear his story in a moment. Uh, he's a person of great uh, integrity and great character. He's also a person who's done quite a few things at Vista High, uh, from academics to athletics and community and beyond. So without further ado, here's Kyle. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Kyler Calder, and I'm very excited to be speaking with you all today. I'm thankful to the sponsors who have given me this opportunity to speak, and I am here with my wonderful parents, Casey and Courtney Calder, and my character leaders teacher, Mr. Hanlon, and assistant principal, Mr. Noble. Um, they all had, have had a significant impact on my life, and I'm eternally grateful for each and every one of them. After high school, I'm planning to serve a two-year mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, where I'll be sent anywhere in the world to serve the people of the area I assigned. Following that, I'm hoping to attend BYU in Provo, Utah, where I would like to study international business and relations. Um, I would like to take the time to tell you what I've learned through my experiences of the importance of uniting our community and school campuses. At this high school, um, I am grateful to be in many leadership positions of a variety of activities. I am a captain of the varsity water polo team, president of character leaders, and the president of the buddies program. All of these activities have given me the opportunity to interact with extraordinary people. I was introduced to the buddies program through character leaders, and I'll forget, never forget the lessons that it has taught me. Um, all the, I was interested, I already said that. Every Tuesday, me alongside many other students at Vista High, uh, meet together with the students in the special education program to play basketball, color, or other activities that we find exciting. Um, we get to know them, laugh with them, and build friendships with them. These students are the most loving and kind people I have ever met. They are the first to compliment others no matter how their day is going, and they are the first to say hi to you in the halls, which makes our campus more united and comfortable. Watching their example has made me reflect on myself. What is stopping me from being the ray of light that these kids are exemplifying? Throughout my whole life, I've always been seen as the little guy. Even though I'm the captain of the varsity team, I am the shortest, which really strikes fear into the eyes of our opponents. <laughs> <laughs> being constantly reminded of my small stature through jokes or slight remarks shrunk me even more and made me scared to reach out in this oh so big world. But the examples these kids set for me changed that. I followed their lead and reached out to all those I could. The fear I once had evolved into confidence, but taught me a valuable lesson. Being the little guy makes it easier to find other people who may feel small, but it's easier for me to uh, give them advice and empathize with them. I'll continue to exemplify the confidence of these kids throughout my life. Even as one person, we have the potential to make a massive change in society that can change people's lives for the better. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I want to thank the Chamber again. It's such a gift to be here uh, every month. It's just so exciting, and uh, congratulations to all of the winners uh, for, this, for this month. You guys are really, truly inspiring, so thank you. And speaking of inspiring, uh, KJ inspires me. He's such a wonderful example of the character leader's motto, change yourself, then change the world. His focus is on being the very best person he can be, and he's always so, so humble for someone so accomplished, and he's done quite a bit at school. Not only does he have exceptional grades and, you know, as a leader, uh, Southern California CAF champion in the water polo, uh, with the water polo team, league champion in swimming, um, president, again, of character leaders and buddies club. Uh, he has a lot that he could have an ego about and does not at all. He leads first with humility, and his character goes before him. And um, that is quite impactful on our campus, uh, not only to our class, but to everybody that he sees. And he gave really good 
you know, example of that. Um, really, and the way he, the ways that he works with kids with more severe special needs, it's really inspiring to see. Uh, and in fact, this year it's great because he brought in as president, he brought in a lot of his water polo teammates, and it's so exciting to see. We've got this great big club. And it's just so exciting to see true inclusion and integration at school. That's very, very sincere. It's not something that's being done just to, you know, pad a resume, but it's truly sincere. And so it's really, really wonderful to see. Um, Kyler's been, I've been honored to work with Kyler for the last four years in Character Leaders um, in Buddies Club. He's also been a, a four-year member, or four-year leader with our Breaking Down the Walls Positive School Climate Campaign. Uh, he's been a small group leader with that uh, project, which is, and it's just been outstanding to see him lead others um, in being more inclusive and more respectful and building a good climate of character um, at Vista High School. He's also heavily involved in service in his spare time, which is none. <laughs> you know, he's uh, done quite a few service projects, um, one of which was focused on uh, working with uh, service dogs and companion service dogs of America, um, helping train dogs that will be uh, service dogs for people with special needs and wounded warriors. So uh, among other many other service uh, projects, um, this year we'll also be working on a buddy's prom where we have a prom uh, that's more inclusive and focused more on inclusion um, and celebrating uh, friendships in our buddies club. So really proud of you, Kyler, and um, I just think he exemplifies perfectly um, the, the merits of this, this award, to, uh, to live with character and to make a positive difference um, on campus, definitely, and off campus through service. So congratulations, Kyler, and congratulations to everybody else. Thank you. I'm uh, Casey Calders, my wife Courtney, and we're Kyler's parents. Uh, we've had an extraordinary opportunity to be able to have him for 17 years so far. He's uh, one of four of our children. He's the second, and uh, we couldn't be more proud of him. You know, out of all of our kids, we have more stories about Kai, um, <laughs> especially growing up. I mean, if we go to family gatherings, his are the ones that we tell because uh, he is very goal driven and I cannot, I cannot overstate that. His life is patterned probably further out than our age. And if it does not go that way, it is a mess. And to give you an example, I figured one story that I'm comfortable sharing about Kyler. When he was about five years old, um, everybody was in bed by about 8 or 8.30, and my wife and I would go watch TV downstairs. At about 10 o'clock, we heard bawling upstairs, like not just the regular crying, but just uncontrollably crying. So we went up there thinking something was wrong, and Kyler was in one of those crying states where he couldn't couldn't contain himself. He was doing the whole <laughs> thing. And we're like, Kyler, what's wrong? Kyler was wrong. And he couldn't speak. He could not tell us what was wrong. Finally, after getting him, finally, after getting him to calm down, he just yelled, I just don't know who I'm going to marry. <laughs> That's Kyler. That's Kyler. We are so proud of him and the desire and the desire he has to not only make sure he's on the right path, but to make sure everybody that he comes in contact with is okay. That everybody he meets, um, he can do something for. And all the things he does, not only with water polo school, his service uh, oriented um, projects, but he also gets up for seminary every morning at five o'clock and goes to that when he doesn't have water pole practice. So all those things are, are very difficult, um, but we couldn't be more proud of him. We are very grateful for the sponsors who put this together, uh, for all those who continually do this for these these young uh, youth in our, in our community. For all of you who are here today, we appreciate the service that you render for not only your schools, your homes, but for the communities. Uh, thank you all very much. Thank you all, uh, Kyler. We can, <clears throat> excuse me. We can, we can definitely say, uh, marriage story aside, um, <laughs> that you stand very tall among us. So uh, we appreciate you and, and all that you're doing for Vista High and our for our community. And at this time, uh, let me go ahead and introduce 
Tri-City Christian High School and Principal Rod King. <laughs>